Right, hello everyone and welcome back to Titanic, an adventure out of time. We're here in the aft grand staircase and um, we've got a few bits and bobs that we need to do. So we're kind of, we've kind of taken a tour of what we can of the ship and I'm actually, I'm trying to get to... Mm, mm -hmm. So there's no access to here. I want, I want to get up to the A deck. Um, so we're in the A deck promenade here and I actually want to get to the grand staircase. Um, because I need to go to the A deck cabins which are here. Now actually, I'm just wondering, um, I can't remember. I'm in the wrong deck for this actually. Um, I need to go down, so boat deck, A deck, B deck is here. Let's go to, nope, must be C deck. I'm trying to find the purse's office which is here. Um, Yes, can I help you? Thank you, I, I would just like to... As purser, I arrange dinner reservations, rent deck chairs, the usual shipboard duties. Excellent. And um, what I want to Have see... Have your name? If you do, I can tell you their cabin number. So there's a gentleman, um... No, what's his name? More... more names... I've actually forgotten his name. Um... No, okay, so he is here, that's fine. Thomas Andrews is the um, designer of the Titanic. Mr. Thomas Andrews, the Titanic's designer, <laughs> far too important for you. Excellent, excellent. Thank you for your help. You'd be know, most unhelpful. Yes, <laughs> um, yes okay. So that's all there, I, I was wondering if Andrew Conkling was an analogy for Thomas Andrews, um, but he's not. He is his own person. So what I want to do, let's go find this guy who was on A deck. So let's go back up to the A deck and hit up the cabins. Nope, that's a first class lounge. A deck cabins, here we go. So we're looking for A27. Uh, A23, 27. Okay. Creepy dude's not home, fair enough. So, I guess there's only a couple of things left to do here. Um. So I need to now report to Penny. So let's go to the promenade. I need to get to the second class staircase. This is the front of the ship. I really quite like this game. I'm honestly surprised at how well the graphics have held up. Like, okay, I, ooh, oh yeah, so yeah, we, we, we've spoken to you. Haven't we? Yeah, I think. I knew you'd come. Huh? Oh yeah. Oh. Oh. Charles received a telegram from the solicitors. Our estate's to be sold off. He asked about the necklace I gave you. Oh, she I told him I left it with a purser. Don't say anything to him or Sasha. Sasha. Not him and his group of... Oh, there's much more to tell you. Can you meet me in my stateroom? I'm in B70. Okay. It's Charles' custom to go for a drink in the smoking room. When he does, visit me. Okay, excellent. So this is this is Georgia. Anyway, what I need is the second class staircase, which I'm uh, struggling to locate at this time. The aft grand staircase. Where does the second class staircase start? Ah, there's not an access on E deck. Of course, because the the poor people aren't allowed in. Oh wait, that was like no. Okay, so yeah, right. So um, we need to go down to. Oh crap! What cabin she in? Uh, this is C deck. We're going down to A deck. Uh, F deck. Pardon me. So this is E deck. Oh. Do we know? Do, do we know you? I remember him. He was like Nigel Farage. A fine night to be indoors. Cold as the dickens outside. Cold but clear. Ah, I remember you. Clear as a bell, and the stars. Oh, you should see a million stars in God's firmament. A congregation of light. The name's Trout. The Reverend Edgar Trout. I'm returning from a mission in Africa. To Sunapee, New Hampshire. Where we... I mean, I live. Oh, Emily, my wife. She's dead. Oh, sorry to hear that. Thank you. <clears throat> we had looked forward to this journey. But she died at Port Sahid. Oh, well. Though it was Nyasaland that killed her. The doctors, you know, never did find all the parasites. Calling on Miss Pringle? 
She has been invaluable this voyage, mm. a pillar. Oh yes, we're very glad she's with us. They say you met Trask. Word gets around. He sounds like an interesting fellow. Be wary of him. Trask's a trickster. So he's a psychic. Take this card, a prayer card, from my own collection. So you must like this section, section of the Titanic. Titanic. What section do you mean? Here, second class. Mm. You can get to Scotland Road from here. Do you know it? Well, Scotland I know it. Road. I know it, but my uh, my in-game character doesn't. Scotland Road runs the length of the ship from stern to bow on E deck. It allows the crew to get from one side <laughs> to the other quickly. I could go to third class if I take the Scotland Road, but I don't believe in social mixing. No, it it creates too much anxiety. <laughs> A place for everyone, and everyone a place. Though wow. some don't choose to see it that way. <laughs> In the course of my ministrations, I've observed a gentleman from Ooh. first class. I'm glad I asked. A young German among the steerage women. Hmm? Most, most unnatural. I haven't said anything. I wouldn't want to upset the ladies. Especially Miss Pringle. She seems a fragile vessel. Yeah, she's fine. She's actually an MI6 agent. <laughs> um, so that's Wait, Willie they're talking before about. before you leave, I was wondering, perhaps you'd care to make a donation to our mission in Nyasaland? I am very happy. Tomorrow we will discuss everything. Tomorrow you'll be Indeed. dead. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, so that's the Reverend. Anyway, we're not interested in Scotland Road at the moment. Let's actually check our prayer card here. So, a prayer card. Uh, how do I examine things? Oh, spyglass. <laughs> Nearer my god to thee. Right, so we're on F deck. So, we're looking for the F deck cabins. For the life of me, I cannot remember where Pringle is. I need to speak with her. Oh, Penny's cabin. It's not Penny. Penny Pringle. Here we go. Right. Um, so, we want her. To, oh, this is the engine rooms. Can we sneak into the engine rooms? Yes, we can. Oh, excellent. Okay. Uh, I didn't expect that. I think this is the one, the control room. <laughs> what now? A passenger? I can't regulate the steam by boilers one and two. Oh. So I don't have time for you. You're where you shouldn't be. Get up top. Before you kicked out there. Excellent. Perhaps I could say no. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I doubt it. She's really acting up. See? Still working the bugs out of her. See for yourself. Okay. Well, then you need to leave this area right now. You aren't allowed down here. This is part of the plot, but not part of the plot at the moment. This is basically how you get into the boiler rooms, but, um... Oh, in fact, yeah, well, you know, you know what, you know what, let's, let's actually just do it, let's do it. Because you might get to meet someone. I thought I told you to keep out of here. I've brushed up on my books. Have at it. <laughs> There's a gauge showing the turbine's power output. The needle's got to move into the green zone. Over here. So this is this is a this is a reasonably simple thing. Right. Okay. So boiler water level is down. So what we want? Um. Water pump to high. Water pump to high. Um. So we need to open up the condenser a bit. I think. Turbine pressure. So let's do it. No, okay, right. So it's just a lot banging, which is a pain. So, right, what do we need? We need the condenser holes just now? No, okay, condenser needs to be opened, and that's maximum. Okay, so if we open up 
up this. So this is basically just a puzzle where you have to kind of dig around a bit and find out what to do. So I know how to operate a steam engine, um, however this is going to be quite a lot different. So what we need to do is to... Okay. So let's put this to high. So you're full of water and you've got none. Hmm. Okay, let's just hold it like this for just now. So... temperature. Huh. Okay, I'm actually just going to put this on mute for the moment because the noise, the, the constant banging is, uh, is actually quite annoying. So let me just mute that. So actually I can hear it. So let me just mute myself as well. Right, okay. <laughs> Fine. Excellent. Right, okay. So let's think about this logically. So let's get everything off. So the condenser is off, you are off, <sighs> and you are at maximum actually, which is kind of a little bit weird. So what we ideally want, this is the turbine which brings water into the tank. So what we ideally want is, okay, yeah, well we want the pumps. From water, so we've got we've now got water in the water tank. Ah, I get you. I get what needs to be done. Right, it needs to be done in steps rather than done in things. So we've now got water into the water tank here. Okay. So now what we need to do is get water. Okay, we need to pick up the boil levels a bit. So I think this is full, I can't actually tell. Hey. Uh, let's just try and pick up the pressure somewhat. God, I can't remember how to do this. I remember this, this being a reasonably easy puzzle before. Um, and now it is most not. It's just, um, we've got a little bit of a kick out the needle, but that's not helping us and that's not helping us. Okay, right, let's put the boiler control back down. God, this is going to be 15 minutes, <laughs> this is supposed to be quite quick. Alright, let me fast forward through this a bit. Here, take a look at the instruction manual. You might have better luck than me. This should probably <laughs> have been what we did at the start. Okay, right, fine, fine. So let's take a note of this. Um, red circular valves counterclockwise. Red counterclockwise to all. So that will increase the steam. And then what we want to do, oh wait, hang on. Make sure to make the following adjustments. Okay, adjust the seawater pump. Seawater pump to halfway, halfway to three quarters, uh, to minimize the condenser pressure. Minimize condenser pressure, that's fine. Maximize heat. Max heat by boilers to three quarters, yeah, that's fine. Carefully close the steam valves. <laughs> Carefully close steam valves. Close steam valves. Right, okay. That's actually pretty straightforward, to be perfectly honest. Um, so, all right, we know what to do now. Let me try again. Right, there's a gauge showing the turbine's power output. The needle's got to move into the green zone. Okay, angry noise. Right, so counterclockwise. So you should all be on the low. You should be on the low. 
Wait, hang on. If I have you high... I don't know. The gauge moved a bit. I thought we were in luck. Right, red valve. You all need to be counterclockwise as far as you'll go. So just double check. You all are fine. Okay. So the seawater pump needs to be around here. Okay. Boiler pressure now needs to come up to, what was it? Uh, three quarters. Mm. Okay, right, here we go. So we've now pumped this in, we've now got maximum boiler pressure, so what we now need to do is carefully close the steam valve. Now, I can actually move you either way. Okay, so that's the wrong valve. So it's going to be the one on the condenser that needs sorted. Okay. Uh. I think it might be because the water went a bit too low. Okay, we're almost there. Almost there. Now we can carefully close one of them, I think. Just about had it, right? Let's wind it back a bit more. It's in the green. We want maximum green, which is here. Okay, it's done. Right smart, you were. She's running much smoother now. Say, so, hey, since you were so interested, go on, have a, have a peek in the engine room. Right, she's quite a sight. I am really sorry that it took so long to get to that point. Um. I might end up doing this as a double episode. I'm actually, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a save here. So this is this is how old, old school we are. Because I know what's coming. I know what's coming. So this is the engine room, um, which I don't think is uh, advanced enough that um, it'll sh it shows you everything running, even though it should all be running. So it's all it's all pretty basic. This, this game is, is 20 years old. We'll, we'll forgive it, but yes, it is indeed quite a sight, and it's not the sight that we are after. So that's the electricity room, and we are going to sneak into the boiler room. So I'm going to show you what happens if you jump the gun. So if you don't, well, I don't know, I don't really know, know about spoilers, but it's a 20 year old game. And we meet this kind of chap. You are a passenger. Excuse me, I would speak with you. And why? What do you want? Forgive me. I am sorry to intrude on you. A person, person of such a high station. station. I am glad. One of your troubles. I, I am leaving my home. I am a serb and they have killed my wife, my children, the Austrians. For that, they will pay. But I do not want to bother you. Please, I need a favor. I have a friend in first class, class. in cabin A14. A14. Mr. Bobicon has a package for me. Can you bring it here? Okay. Why are you done here? I am a stowaway. If I am caught, maybe they throw me overboard. Probably. Please get the package. I've eaten nothing since we sailed. Save for a rat who is <laughs> not so fast. <laughs> you done? Okay. His name is Barbicon, in A14. Okay. Hmm. Tell him you've come from Vlad. He will give you the package. I wait here for your return. So your assistance will be repaid many fold. Ha, ah, okay. Plot's going on a bit here. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. So, this is the boiler room where you've got all the, the boiler guys doing boiler stuff. Can I talk to them? Ooh, what have we here? The fancy dress balls upstairs, mate. Ready? <laughs> Check out the tough. <laughs> well, they're a fine sight prettier than your ugly face. Excellent. Better company, too. <laughs> Off with you. Ah, these guys are miserable. Right, anyway. So, um... To end off the episode, we've met, met Vlad, so you probably have a reasonably good idea 
judging by the fact that he is in this boiler room of what is coming. So if I do this... And I, if, if memory serves me correctly... Yeah, we can't use the escape ladders. So we found the Rubicon. This is basically what the game is all about. This. The Rubaiyat of Omar Khayyam. This is what we're sent here to find. But we've done this too early. Wait. I've been, been looking, looking for this. this. Thank you. I'm dead, son! <laughs> so, anyway, um, yes, we were killed on the Titanic, and that is how you get killed before the plot is finished. Um, you don't even get to graciously see the sinking. But don't worry, that is not the end of this series of Titanic and Adventure Out of Time. When we come back, we will meet Vlad again, and uh, instead of jumping and getting the Rubaiyat, which he doesn't know is there, um, we will do the plot properly. So I'm going to say thank you very much for watching me in this episode, and I'll see you next week. Bye!